Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally, finally, finally sat down to make a couple of videos for you and I will be reviewing the Huda Beauty Foundation properly. I will be wearing it for you and I'll show you how it looks on my skin and talking a little bit about it just so that you can have a better inside of the foundation. <laughs> So I'm in the color brown sugar. Um, when I put it on, it actually looks a little bit lighter, but it actually oxidizes at least one shade darker. So whenever you do buy this foundation, make sure you buy one shade lighter so that it becomes your skin tone as you wear it. Um, it doesn't take very long for it to oxidize. It takes maybe about maybe you'll see as soon as I finish applying my makeup it'll look like my skin tone again. I've also bought the primer. So this is the complexion perfection pre-makeup base that was really difficult to say <laughs> all right um so yeah let's get into it so i'm going to go ahead and prime my face with the primer first and i'll talk a little bit about the primer and then i'll talk a little bit about the foundation this is what the primer looks like the primer bottle it's really easy to use and i'm just going to go ahead and squirt out oh what happened here okay so here we go it looks like a normal moisturizer it smells just like the foundation, but a little bit less. No, actually, no. Yeah, it, it's a little bit less than the the, no, the foundation because the foundation has this really, 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 really strong smell. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this all over my face, just like a normal moisturizer. The primer feels just like a moisturizer. It doesn't feel like a primer. Primers usually have this very thick type of velvety touch to it and it's uh, I don't know how to explain it it's like a silicon type of uh, feeling and this just feels like a moisturizer my face feels nice and soft it feels like a normal moisturizer basically um, right now for the foundation as I said I'm in the color brown sugar I'm going to apply this side of the face with a damp beauty sponge and this side of the face with a brush just to see the difference I don't know if there is a difference a lot of people do use a brush for this uh, but I always prefer to use a sponge and uh, on the website it actually says to use one squirt of foundation and it covers the whole face I have a lot of pigmentation like so I have a lot of pigmentation on my upper lip here and a little bit over here on my chin and I do have a lot of acne scars as well especially on this side over here this is the side I have a lot of texture on my skin this side is not too bad um, so I prefer to use a sponge just because it doesn't exaggerate my textured skin uh, but you can see the difference um, all right so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and take a small pump and it's pretty thick foundation you can see like if I do this it doesn't like just like flow down I mean like yeah like flow down <laughs> like a liquid foundations normally do it's pretty thick and um, the smell like I said is really overwhelming I don't like it because I have very sensitive skin um, I don't really mind it because I guess it does kind of wear, like it does fade away with time. But as when you apply it, that's only what, what you can smell, especially when you're like, because I dab my foundation on my skin. Especially when I'm dabbing my foundation on my skin, I can just, I can just get a whiff of it. <laughs> Anyways, the best way to use this foundation is actually to go ahead and like dab your sponge in onto your uh, hand like this with the foundation. Um, Hey, I need to put my phone on silent. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, don't don't like make like you know. Usually, what I do is <laughs> put my phone on silent. Right. Uh, yes, like I was saying. Um, usually, what I do is I take little like dots and I go ahead and dot it all over my face, and then I go ahead and blend it with. If I do that, it's very very difficult to blend. I don't know for what reason it doesn't. Move, the foundation doesn't move. Uh, I don't know if anyone else has seen that when they're using this foundation. So what I would recommend is go ahead and just dab the foundation on your hand like that. So it just kind of spreads, I guess. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just slightly start dabbing it. And you can see like it's a little bit light for me. But I'm going to go ahead and let that set. And then you'll see the difference between this side and that side. It'll become the same. And you can you see like the coverage is insane, insane, insane coverage. Also, I don't know if you noticed, so I, I think that I'm very olive and yellow toned, um, but when I wear this foundation, I look extra yellow. So I don't know if it's that I've chosen the wrong foundation or is it just that the foundation is a bit extra yellow? I'm not 100% sure. So I'm just going to go ahead and just dab, dab, dab.
Take your time to dab this onto the nose areas. Yeah, I always, always miss these areas. Take it and go ahead and put it into this little indentations. Um, um, what are these things, these places called? These little hollows of the eyes. And go ahead and just take your time and just dab that in. So I've zoomed in for you guys to see. Look how beautiful the foundation is. It looks so, so, so pretty. It, looks, it actually looks very natural. Even though it's so full coverage, it looks very natural. And you'll see it'll get a little bit darker in a little bit and it'll match the side of my skin. Okay, so for this side of my face, I'll be using this brush here. It's by Marc Jacobs. It is actually, um, it's called the Shape. Yes, the Shape. And it's actually, I think, for contouring, but I use it for foundation. And I will just take again one pump. So I've got a little bit of foundation left from this side of my face. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. So it's just like not a full pump, maybe three quarters of a pump. And again, I'm going to go ahead and just dab my brush in it just to make sure that there's product all over the brush. And I'm going to go ahead and just bounce the uh, sponge on, um, on my face. I zoomed in over here as well and you can see that it's given me pretty good coverage it made my skin look nice and smooth um, and you can't see that my texture that much as well so when they say it's called a full filter foundation they really mean it's a full filter foundation because I mean I have a lot of texture on my face and and a lot of pores especially in these areas over here and so my texture is right over here is where I have all the acne and I've got a couple of uh, pimple I mean breakouts over here as well and you can see that it's kind of like smoothened it um and yeah i mean they don't they're not kidding when they say full filter and full coverage uh when i'm looking at it side by side i can see that the side that i use the sponge gave me a lot more coverage and it made everything a lot more smoother compared to this side especially if you can see under my eyes the side here is a little bit less than that side there um and i use the exact same amount and i say use the same method as in like this dabbing method so i mean it's up to you guys, whatever you prefer. I prefer to use a sponge when it comes to this foundation. But Huda Beauty recommends, <clears throat> obviously, a sponge. Sorry, I meant the brush. Okay, now that the foundation has set, you can see that it looks a lot like my skin tone. Uh, but it's still a bit too yellow. Uh, is it just me? <laughs> All right, so when I use this foundation also, I go ahead and um, for concealer, I don't use a concealer concealer. Well, sometimes I do, but most of the time I just use a little bit of the foundation under the eyes as a concealer sometimes I use a shade lighter or sometimes I just use the same shade just depending on the look I want if I really want a bright under eye then I'll go ahead and use the same uh, a, a shade lighter which is the shade called I don't know how to pronounce this Dulce Delish Delish Dulce Delish you understand right so one of uh, yeah so I use that one under my eyes today I think I'll go ahead and maybe mix the two because I don't want a very bright under eye under eye highlight uh, so yeah that's what I'm gonna do so I'm using such a tiny 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 amount and I mix the two I'm just gonna go ahead and just dab again my sponge in it and I'm gonna go ahead and just place it under my eyes the foundation and the foundation as a concealer under my eyes and a little bit on my forehead down my nose and my chin um, I've let that dry for a couple of minutes and you can see like it gives me a very like um, it's not 100% matte but it's not very dewy as well it gives like an in-between a very velvety um, a very velvety look and um, I really really like it. it looks a lot like skin even though it's so cakey uh, not cakey it's so full coverage it's very much like skin um, and you can see that 
I had a lot of pigmentation under my eyes and a little bit on my nose and a lot, a lot on my upper lip and this area over here and obviously the marks, the acne marks on my chin uh, and my cheek, sorry. And you can see that everything is like completely gone. I didn't need to use um, a, what's it called, a corrector or anything like that underneath and I didn't need like a heavy duty concealer. I just used the foundation as a concealer and it gave me this flawless, flawless, flawless type of uh, look on my face. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and that's about it. Once I set my face and uh, contour and do everything else, I'm gonna go ahead and let the foundation sit and check in with you and let you know how it sits on my oily skin. It's me and I did a couple of chores and I went around in the car it's really hot today um, and the time now is 20 past 3 so I've had this makeup on from um, 12 o'clock not, not 11 so 12 o'clock so it's been now three and a half hours nearly so not too bad and from what I can see it looks pretty fresh still um, I can't see any oils coming out. I'm just gonna go ahead and look in the mirror, close-up mirror. Yeah, I mean, uh, it looks pretty matte, and I've got, like I said, I've got very, very oily skin, and um, to the touch it feels like it's very, like still very velvety. So that's quite good, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and um, check in with you guys in maybe another two hours, and then right at the end back it is now 5 30 so that is two hours later than i checked in last um all i've done is i've changed the lipstick color because i was doing a swatch video and um yeah that's it it looks pretty pretty good i mean i'm really surprised i'm actually very oily and i think the only thing different that i did today is actually i used the primer and the um the bake the easy bake powder um underneath because when I have used this before, um, it starts to it starts to get really, really oily right around over here, and it really easily wipes off. But right now, I don't know, it's not doing that. So maybe it's because of the the Easy Bake Powder and the Primer. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, but I'll I'll go ahead and show you how it looks. Maybe at about nine, eight, nine o'clock when I'm taking off my makeup. See ya. Hey guys, so it's nine o'clock now in the evening and I can't keep this makeup on longer because I just want to take it off and I want to go to sleep. Um, but it's looking amazing. I am so, 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 so shocked because um, whenever I use this foundation on myself, it, it's always wiping away, especially from this side over here. The only thing I did different today is I applied the primer and I applied the baking powder and it's not oily at all and today was pretty hot um i am sh super super shocked like my skin looks still so matte um yes and usually around this time especially when i'm wearing like makeup for at least five hours um i really get oily in this area here and i can feel a little bit of oiliness but not that bad so i think if you have really oily skin i think that primer and the baking powder would really really help um, and that's it guys, that's it for my review. Mm. I'm happy with the way it looks on my skin and I'm happy with the way, I mean, it hasn't like come off anywhere and it's still looking the same, it hasn't like cracked anywhere, it hasn't separated anywhere. Um, yeah, I mean, I would, I love this foundation. Only thing is I do break out when I use this foundation the next day. I'll probably get like one or two like little, little spots here and there. But um, that's about it. It's nothing so great. And I think that's because I have very, very sensitive skin. And I think it's because of the fragrance and that all. I don't know what it is. But um, yeah, that's about it, I think. And a lot of people, other people have said to me that they've also broken out with, um, with this foundation. But it just could be my hormones, you know. Um, as you guys know, I have polycystic ovaries. And that really makes me break out. And I have a lot of um, acne and hair growth and... That's on a separate level, but um, yeah, so it could be because of the hormones, but it could be because of the foundation. You never know. Right, so I'm signing off. I hope you guys like this review. 
Um, and if you guys have any other requests, let me know. See you later.